Jeremy Hall. Uh, you're on the air. Meow. 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 Jeremy. Um, hello? Jeremy. Oh, hey. Hello, Jeremy. How's it going? You know, I've had better days. Here I am strolling through the rain in a crop top and a leather jacket. And leather is not meant to be worn in rain. Sweet dude, I can respect that, I can it's respect fucked, that. Cause it's probably ruined the whole embroidery thing that I got on the back of the Valkyrie. Anyway. <sighs> this doesn't matter, let's cut the negativity cut out. Cut the negativity out, let me it's live. It's a good evening. It's phrases like, let me live and can I say that I make a, I make my, I make my staple on. They're my credo, as it were. Praise be to him. Oh Cre fuck, Cre look at these dogs. Whoa. Do anyone ever train these fucking dogs? Do anyone ever think about that? Who let the dogs out? You ever hear that song? <laughs> no, never. Never heard it, huh? I've heard I've heard that song. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about, buddy. Anyway, Jeremy. Um, well, er earlier tonight, actually, first call, I guess, you guys were talking about favorite Star Wars movies, and Rocco brought up that episode six with his favorite. Not exactly a popular choice. Well, but episode one six, I share. All right. You don't, you I, I don't love think that's that. popular? What? Well, everyone I know, I know actually a lot of people who like, like, well, some of the prequels more. Oh, but what the fuck? I know, right? I guess Don't... I have to hang up. Oh. This is nonsense. Jeremy, are you pranking? I'm not pranking. This has got to be a prank call. No one in their right mind says they like the prequels more. They're... Hey, I know someone that we all know personally. <laughs> who? I hey, why not? They deserve it. Uh, I don't want to do this because they'll get a lot of uh, negative attention. Oh, are they on but Twitter I, and uh, stuff? Yes, and it's someone we know personally, and oh I God. could never take their opinion seriously again after that. <sighs> well, are they big uh, Fast and the Furious fans as well? Mm, not particularly. They're just weird people, you know. I was, I was thinking it was it was it Ryan. That was the only guess. No, I had. no, no, no. no. <laughs> Even then, I think it would be joking. Anything. Yeah, all right. No more guesses, because I might get it right. Nothing useful. Oh, shit. This is useful. These bullets are useful. Anyway, all right, Jeremy. But yeah, you know, I was your, just... Your friend's full of shit, but let's let's get past his lies. I was just, I was just interested to think, um, is there any specific scene in the saga that specifically stands out, whether it's not it's even from your favorite film? Yes. But just a specific scene. Favorite scene and one that definitely stands out is on the Superstar Destroyer deck in silhouette. You see Vader and Luke like facing off with their lightsabers out. In in, in Jedi, I'm sorry. What I say in Empire? Uh, yeah. The, um, you uh, all, that that whole scene, that whole last fight scene in general, just like the way he's hiding under those stairs, and they're talking to each other, but they don't really know where each other are. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I like when they're hiding and, and ah, your sister, and he fucking screams out and comes out. Yeah, I was gonna say my favorite movie or my favorite scene in movie history in my entire life. Is, is that? Uh, that yeah. scene never, and him, uh, them fighting and the. Operatic music that comes in. And oh, like the music's just spectacular there. there. You, you can describe it much better than I can. And it's mm. just, uh, he looks at his band and he doesn't look, he realizes who he's turning into. Yeah. So, yeah. And then he just surrenders himself. That whole, that whole stretch is like the best scene in any movie. Movies to me don't get better than that. It's up there, man. It gives me chill. Oh, and then, um, when specifically the fucking lighting on Yoda. When the X-wing lifts off of Dagobah, oh, yeah. the lighting, I always forget about that. Yeah, the, the X-wing up. It's like yeah. it, it like rises above uh, yeah. Yoda and and the fucking lighting on him as he's going like uh, he's talking to Ben's ghost. Isn't yeah, he? yeah, that mm -hmm. boy is our last hope. And, no, yeah, no there's right. another. And when he says that, it just gets me right mm -hmm. in the fucking goo goos. <laughs> Where does it get you? What? Well, er, in episode six same thing there's this moment just in terms of the whole overarching narrative of the saga you leave off on episode five which is as you said it's a very downer ending like oh we have to fight the empire everything's kind of shit we're gonna die and episode six starts off in that same sort of way where they're in Jabba's palace and it's like they got this plan to save 
Han and everything, but it keeps fucking up. And then they beat the Rancor, and it's like, oh, everything's cool. But then it fucks up again. We're gonna get thrown in the pit. But then there's that moment where he's on the, he's about to get thrown in the pit, and yeah. everything's just like, oh, any last words? And the music starts playing, and it's just like that big swell, and then like just crazy pirate swashbuckling action in like the typical Star Wars sense. You got Lando up. Calrissian as a plant. You yeah. got. R2-D2 serving drinks, shooting lightsabers off the barge. It's just a great way to transition from such yeah, a yeah. dark oh. movie in Episode Five to the light I, action. I, I, I agree with reason, that. That's another reason Return of the Jedi is my favorite. The opening infiltration of Jabba's palace, to me, plays like Star Wars' greatest hits. Yeah. Because it's, why are we in this palace? Oh, droids. <laughs> why are we still here? Wait, is that Lando? Okay, why are we still here? Wait, is that Leia? Yeah, Leia. Holy shit, wait, is she Han Solo? You know, it starts to unravel like, here's all the fucking hits and it's coming out. And then it, yeah. all, it all crescendos when Luke is about to die and drop on that thing and them they up. throw him the lightsaber and the scene kicks in. It's like, yeah. fuck yeah, we're back in Star Wars. Yeah, I agree. That's and the, one of the best openings for a movie ever. Similarly on episode six, I wonder... Now, overall, obviously, the special edition changes are pretty fucking shit. But, personally, on the ending of episode oh, six, the final song, yeah. it's they change it from the Ewok victory theme to yeah. that more, yeah. I don't know, I sentimental mean, it's kind like of? World yeah, music. It's a new John Williams song, yeah. 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 How do you feel about that? Where do you stand on that? Uh, I mean, I, I was fine with it originally. I still think my overall is don't touch it. Uh, but what they did change it to is very emotional, so I, I can't complain about it. It's a great, great theme to wrap it all up, and I like it. But uh, that's not know. a change that's that's real huge for me. One that I yeah. even really noticed. Yeah. No. Um. Yeah. Originally it was yup nub. Yup nub. You know. Yeah. It was literally called yup nub. <laughs> yeah. And um, and and it was goofy, but but it became really sentimental at the end. I still think that works. Um, I, think I think so. Everyone works too. I like them either way. It's interesting because showing my age a bit here, I actually grew up with seeing the special editions first. I'm a bit yeah. of a youngin in that. Yeah, side. yeah. I, you know and, what? Uh, for me, a new hope was that that was, I, I had a VHS tape with Empire and and uh, Jedi on it, and I'd never fucking seen a new hope until I went to the fucking special edition re-release on my birthday. Mm -hmm. One nine oh six. I might have seen like parts of it on on uh, TV, but I never watched like A New Hope all the way through until I saw it in the theater. It was just interesting when I was younger. I was caught so off guard by seeing Episode Six based on the special edition so many times. That big swelling, like more like bit, like that John Williams song, and then seeing the original one day, not knowing about that difference, and just hearing this you like. It's not a bad choice. It was just very jarring, I guess, from yeah, what I've just used. different. Uh, one thing I do like about the changes to the ending in the special editions is on. A, I, I kind of did like seeing all the different planets in celebration. That yeah, you know, that was it, kind of a neat touch. It, it, it also works without it, but uh, but I, I I didn't think that was too bad. I feel like overall episode six probably has. If you have to stick with those changes, that one probably has like the best. Because I feel like a lot of people say episode five has the best, but you because you don't notice them. But I don't feel like that's really, like, I guess that's valid, but it's like, if you're, we're talking about what's changed and how much that affects the movie, I feel like episode six comes out best out of that. Uh, I, I, I disagree with that because then they replaced uh, the older Anakin at the fucking end. Oh, yeah, uh, that's just... They added all the shitty song and dance numbers in Jabba's Palace. So I don't, yeah. I, I actually do, I, I actually do agree with the people that say Empire fared the best. Empire had subtle changes, but they really <clears throat> weren't anything. I'm bad. just, bugged by how inconsistent changes in 5 are because there's so many parts where like they add windows and then the next shot they're gone and it like it just yeah. screws with the lighting. Episode yeah, 4 is the really first level. They added like, windows? Yeah, there, yeah, yeah, the Cloud City there's parts they added you know, windows to the outside. And then they wouldn't be another shot. It wasn't like continuity. It was awful. They did uh, that with the Blu-rays even worse. I thought I had that fucking damn it. But yeah, Episode 4 is just like atrocious with that when they go to Moss Eisley and they just stop to have this horrible 90 CG of them floating oh. around. Yeah, episode one in Moss Eisley had a lot of like 
it's add amazing. to it. Like the whole Java scene was like so fucking bizarre. And it's they amazing. tweaked that so many times too, which is funny. That's the thing, like you watch it on Blu-ray and it's like, you're seeing footage and practical effects from the 70s, then 90s CG, then updated 2004 CG what on the, the 90s fuck? scene, then like occasional 2012. Like it's just, it's like a slideshow of terrible special effects. <laughs> Unnecessary. It's unnecessary. Well, anyway, uh, Jeremy, thank you for the Star Wars discussion. Hey, have We're a good... rounding it out. You know, I've been so fucking jam-packed uh, and rushed out of work to get here and set up for the show. I don't have a fucking prank call planned or anything. I know. <laughs> yeah. What time is it? Is everything closed? No, maybe. It's 9-11. Maybe we'll call a Halloween store. I, if I do, I have to take a break and set some shit up. So, Jeremy. Jeremy. Yes? Thank you for calling in, my friend. Thank you for having me. All right. We sure do love you. We'll see you next time. We're going to be right back. Stick with us.